Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hi. We are going to be starting a, a wonderful uh, pasta by the sea today with ingredients that you can actually make out of the dollar store items that you pick up at the dollar store. Yeah. Welcome. I'm David Sponheim. Hello. Welcome to David's Kitchen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this container over here and uh, load it up with filtered water. So we're going to put filtered water in there. Get our hot water going. Welcome to the show. Uh, please don't talk about that. We, we eat nothing but the best food here. That's a bannable offense. I teach people how to buy things at the dollar store and then shop, you know, affordably. Very nice. Yeah. So, we'll put that on the back burner here. Front burner, I should say, but be careful to always put the handle back so you don't get that, you know, near the handle when it's hot. Otherwise, it'll burn the heck out of your body. Yes, this is all food that I picked up at the dollar store, and you can get all of this at the dollar store. And I, I hope you understand that I'm not trying to promote dollar store living, but so many people now are shopping locally at the dollar store. So I'm trying to teach an audience of people how to how to live affordably and, you know, get good quality food. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people have crushes on me. Don't worry about it. You're one of the many. Yeah. It's just that we're not, we're never going to be together. You just have to accept that fact. You know, we can have a, a, a spiritual oneness, you know, but we can't physically be together. Dollar Store has good bargains, yeah. And we're doing a show over at uh, Periscope today, so, you know, I've lost. You know, we can have a, a, a spiritual oneness, you know, but we can't physically be together. Dollar Store has good bargains, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the double sound on that. Okay, good. Yeah, well, Barilla is a, an amazing company that they, they produce this non-GMO food product. As you can see, non-GMO right here. And it's, you know, it's as close to being without genetically modified food as you're gonna get. I'm running that burner back there at level six, so it should heat up pretty fast. Now this dinner calls for, uh, that's one dollar by the way. Yeah. It's a lot of pasta too. Uh, calls for some celery. So I'm going to get, uh, a I have a couple stocks of organic celery I picked up at uh, Safeway. Yeah. And I'm going to go over and get the onion from my organic bag. buy these in bulk so I get a lot of them at one time so this is a uh, Bonnie's best organic Isn't that nice so I'm gonna pull one onion out of this bag I bought for $5.99 so I'm gonna say this onion is less than 50 cents just off the top and the celery combined is about you know probably 30 cents so I'm staying within a dollar there You know, I'm going to have to up this to $6 because I just realized that, yeah, I'm going to throw a lot of fish at this. And it's not really expensive fish. It's just, you know, fish, fish. Right. Correcting the, uh, the titling. There we go. Okay. I have some big onions here. Uh, Washington has great onions. These are organic too. It's fantastic. Okay, we got the trusty Cutco knife. Let me get a breadboard. You know, there's a, a certain product in the market now that is pretty popular. This is nori. I got organic nori here, Korean barbecue. 
I'm just going to throw a couple of these things in there. Yeah, and I'm going to put them in the water. Yeah. Just, you know, to kind of spread them around and add some flavor and some seaweed to the dish. I'm going to put three of these leaves in there. They're really tasty, you know. These little packets are not expensive. And I think seaweed is suitable for the sea, right? So we'll just toss those in there. You can add some uh, Himalayan sea salt, of course. That'll be cooking with the pasta. I take my Himalayan sea salt and grab a pinch of that and throw it in there. Yes, sea celery. And then you eat it. This is not stem celery, okay? That's something that the government's working on to help harvest organs and things. I don't have dish scrubbers to the meal. We have the onion here, which I have to work on a plan to cut it. So I'm just going to make a nice tight cut here. And I use my usual bottom cut here. Get it started, pull it back. See how far you can get that off with one fell swoop. Wow, that's not bad. I think I won an award there. I'm going to give myself a brownie point. All right. And the outer leaf, of course, you can't possibly eat that, so just throw that away. And when I say throw it away, I mean compost it. I did wash off the celery, so we're good to go. I'm going to cut the, the base of it off. These edges, don't you don't need that. I'm going to get a saucepan going back here in the... Okay, we're going to put that on level three to get started. Welcome to David's Kitchen. Farfalle. Hell yeah! You can't see what I was doing? Oh, sorry. Well, now you can. Okay, so we're going to cut these out. And of course, the best way to cut them, obviously, is with these great knives that we have up here. These are the uh, Damask steel from Syria. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's cut these vivisized. Cut them in half. You're going to be sauteing these in butter, so there's nothing to worry about with, uh, with the, the roughage factor. You're going to want roughage, too, in your meal. Hey, you can't even see me over there. Here we, there we go. So we're going to do a nice tight cut, making sure you don't cut your finger off because that's very important not to cut your finger off. These things are, are so, so very sharp that you could virtually do that, so I'm going to be very careful. Not virtually, I should say really do that, which is very dangerous. Whenever you're cutting with a knife, always look at the knife. Use your eyes. If you're if you're blind, I would recommend not cutting with a knife this sharp. So, yeah, that's a little bit weird. Okay, nice tight dice. We're gonna do the same with the onion. Cuts like butter. This is about the most work you're going to be doing today. I'll tell you the, uh, of the seafood ingredients. I know many of you are wondering what the heck I'm going to cook with, and I'm just going to tell you right out. I've got three ingredients going into this. Tuna fish is one of them, and I don't mean albacore, I mean skipjack. They found that albacore has higher mercury than skipjack. 
significantly higher mercury. Bigger fish, skipjack tends to be from smaller fishes, so it has less mercury in it. Isn't that interesting? So I'm going to pour some oil on this pan back here. Give it a nice three tablespoons. My usual pour. It's a guesstimate, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm having a little rainy day here in the Northwest, so it's not too, uh, not getting any light from the front here. There are no legumes here. This is strictly a, a seafood dish. We're going to be using, uh, well, I guess these are legumes, peas, sweet peas. They're a type of, uh, well, peas are not quite a bean, but Del Monte makes these great sweet peas, non-GMO. We've got uh, whole oysters from the dollar store, one dollar. Bumblebee clams made by snow, which is coming off the Atlantic Ocean. Chopped clams, that's made, that's one dollar at, at the dollar store. And then shuckleye tuna for a dollar. Yeah. Now those require a, uh, a can opener except for the peas. The peas does it as a flip top, so we're good there. All right, let's apply the, uh, the cucumber. There we go. Oh my, we're getting a little hot over there. Okay, so I'm just going to throw those into the pan, like so. Kind of spread them around. An important ingredient here would be a dill and of course Italian seasoning. So we're going to use a little of each. Italian seasoning. Kind of throw that on there, give it a few shakes. Give it about a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I've got this brag stuff that I like to brag about. Organic sprinkle. 24 herbs and spices. So you're, you're probably close to a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of herbs. I'm going to throw some dill in here too. I've got some non-GMO dill here. I'm going to throw that in there. As far as the camera is concerned, it's best corrected. We're a half a teaspoon of dill, too. I'm probably going to have to buy a new camera because this camera is malfunctioning after uh, not that many uses. So I'm going to get an HD camera, another one. Yeah, so we're good. Yeah, the peas were a dollar, too. No, or brag is organic. You are correct. You're not correct. All the ingredients there are organic. Are you blind, Addison? It's got 24 herbs and spices, and it's not a salty product. So, salt free. USDA organic. You have to wake up pretty early to beat me to the punch there, Anderson. Okay, we're going to drop that box of uh, farfalla in there. Farfalla is typically a butterfly pasta or, yeah, however you want to call it. Throw that in there on the seaweed. Start stirring immediately. That seaweed will break up around your farfalla. Pretty good. That'll take about 15 minutes. It's not exactly a small pasta shell. Okay, now we're so open some cans. I'm going to turn this level back here to six. We're running level six on both ranges, which would be medium high on a on a gas stove. Let me open some cans for you. This is the uh, the tuna fish. Now, if you're a low salt person, you want to rinse these things out. I'm going to be using them full flavor and everything in the can, in the dish. 
It'll add more flavor and much more taste to the dish, but it also adds salt. It's really coming down. This rain is happening. Okay, so you've got the oysters that collect by the, the docks, and then you've got the tuna fish that's harvested out in the ocean, the skipjack, and then you've got the tuna fish, or the chopped clams that also harvested by the docks. Yeah, down by the, down by the dock. You should wash the tins before. Uh, I don't have a problem with uh, my tins. I, I don't live in a garbage heap, but this is really disturbing me that my light is so bad here. That's okay. You see my face. You'll see me in the other room shortly. Mm -mm. Bad play on words. You have been de deducted three points. Well, the conspiracy theorists are going nuts because Biden made a reference to the 17th before stopping himself during the debates. Really? So they're, they're thinking the 17th is a big day? Okay. I'm not sure what the big deal is. So the 17th is the 17th. I think if I put this down, I'm going to put the, this down. That might help with the reflection. Yeah, I'm having a little, I didn't expect it to be this dark at this hour. So, we're getting the typical rainy day. Okay, give another stir here. Otherwise, this stuff gets sticky. You're going to cook it at, at level six to get it fully cooked. And just enough water to cover it. We're going to glaze those, uh, those onions. So, I'm going to be cooking them at a high flame right now. Getting it up to level six is important. Yeah, so we got all our cans ready to go. Uh, this dish will require some Parmesan. So let me get the Parmesan out. If you have other types of cheese, feel free to use them. You make sure you don't your pasta does not stick. All right. Well, Biden frequently says things that are te tend to be completely off base, so I wouldn't worry about it. He did have a you know brain surgery and three aneurysms before he became vice president. So, you want to see the refrigerator? Sure. And by the way, I got a tip for you. You're not going to believe this, but I I replaced my 40 watt lights. I had two 40 watt lights that came with the refrigerator. iVlog is down. Let's refresh. We're being hosed over there at iVlog. Hang on. We're being DDoSed by people that got uh, the the money through Reddit. Okay, we're back up and running. Thank you for telling me. Tell me anytime the the broadcast goes down. Okay, we're back. The attacks have started. Okay, the uh, seaweed's doing very well, flavoring whatever's in there. Kind of cool. Cooking with seaweed. Uh, give your onions and your celeries uh, a good spin right now. Okay, good. You can start to pour a little bit of the broth in there from some of the dishes. So we're getting the essence of the dish. Cooking with the essence of the dish. Hey, welcome. We'll be doing back and forth until, until somebody gives me a pro account at iBlog. We'll be doing this back and forth thing. So, yeah, we're not going to pay iBlog after they've been mistreating us 
somebody else wants to, that's their choice. We need to see you have at least one bite. I'll eat dinner uh, after when Sarah gets by. We need a lot more light, yeah. So let me tell you what I did. I replaced the, four, the 240 watts, which was 80 watts every time I opened my refrigerator, with an LED light, and I left the other light just, I, I un unscrewed it so it's not connecting. And I put an LED light in one of them, so it's like six watts every time I open. You're not gonna believe what I saved per month on my electric bill. Can you guess what I saved? Give me a dollar amount. No. Higher. It's a six watt bulb in here. That's all I needed, a LED. Sarah got the ultimate eggnog. I've got some beers down there, but I don't drink beer. Sarah got the ultimate eggnog. She paid extra for it. $35 a month I save. I'm not kidding. My electric bill saves $35 a month reduced because I use the LED light. I, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Hey, I have some uh, I have some yogurt that I'm gonna be using a little of. So bear with me. Now I'm going to show you how to make a, a very simple white sauce so you don't have to buy those white sauces. Okay, make sure everything cooks really well. I'm going to use a little yogurt and I'm put, putting a, a few tablespoons on top of the, uh, the onions and celery before I add my clams and sauce. Now it's a quick way to make a white sauce. And I have to use this up anyway, so why not, you know? I can put three big globs of yogurt in there, cooking it down. Now what I do with my yogurt is I, I usually put it in with my mayonnaise. So I'll, I'll get like this low-fat yogurt plain or non-fat yogurt plain and I'll add it to my mayonnaise to stretch it out. Mmm, it's good. Dan has always been one of my favorite brands. It comes out of the East Coast, I believe. White Plains, New York. I was, just, I was just in White Plains, New York recently. It's the only way to get around New York City is to go through White Plains. Blobs of yogurt, yeah. So tell me if the uh, iVlog show gets taken down just out of curiosity. Okay. You'll notice that this stuff will get a little soft and tender as it's cooking. I'm leaving it open because I really just want to keep rotating it into the water. Because I really didn't put a lot of water in there. You're now ready to add Parmesan to the onions. Give it about a tablespoon of Parmesan and then give it a stir, a really good stir, with that, that white sauce in there. There you go. Okay, there you go. Then pour, uh, oh by the way, I am gonna, I'm gonna rinse the peas. I don't want extra pea juice in there. So be sure you rinse the peas out. Yeah, and if you wanna eat frozen dinners, what do you mean the smell? It smells like the ocean here. What are you talking about? Oh, well, Slip Slop, you better call the FBI or something. If you got to worry about a, a famous famous guy, let's... Yeah, I added some water to that, too. But you can, you can do a couple rinses if you want. You don't need the pea juice in this dish. That doesn't add anything. And I'm only using peas because it's a vegetable. It adds a little color to your dish. Okay. Throw all the cans in there. The clams especially put all the juice in there. And the oysters going straight up. Alright. 
spread it around, cover it up, and keep cooking it at high level six. Oh, and put your peas in there right after you get this going. So once this gets hot, we'll put the peas in there. What I'm trying to do is blend the seafood dish together into the, in the roux that's sitting there. And we're then going to move into the next stage. These are not chickpeas, no. Non-GMO, Del Monte. Well, you're getting a little frisky. Good for you. You know, it's tough being so incredibly sensual as a person because people confuse my sensuality with pure sexiness, you know? And I, I, I realize that being sensual doesn't necessarily make me the sexiest man alive. It just puts me in the running. Guys that are tuned out of their, their emotional side are a turnoff to women. Women love men that, you know, appeal to their inner self, meaning emotionality. Yeah, that's, way, that's the way they get excited about, you know, being there with you. Uh, no, the Pope has not made me a, a, the, no, I don't believe I'll be anointed at the, at the Vatican. I am taken. I'm not trying to be tawdry. Okay, throw the peas in now. Turn the pasta off. Cover it right up. Keep that, that back burner on level high. We're fusing the ingredients. Bear with me. I despise food waste. Yeah. There were a few extra peas in the can. Okay, no video? Okay, I'll write there. You get that up to a nice boil. Well, let's be clear. We'll get this down to a, a mm. science here. We're being directly iVlog is being directly attacked. I'm not sure why. But it's the only one that they think that they can stop. Yeah, they're very, very tenacious, these young people. They have no food, these people that are getting an ad in Reddit. And they, they get the ad, then they get money, bitcoins, for up to... One guy made $600 last week, this past week, uh, DDoSing our account. And apparently this is a bargain. Mark used to pay them 5000 Thanks. Viewers in Madagascar, welcome. Yes, so many people in Cameroon, one guy in particular, he, he's feeding his family on the money he gets, and he wants me to feel guilty about that. You don't believe that, Veronica? I am a Goyim, yes. Proud to be Goyim. I'm not Jewish. But that's okay. I understand their mindset, and many of them are very creative people and certainly deserve a lot of respect for all the different things that they've done. So thanks, Jews. Thanks for all you've done for our world. West Philadelphia, good place, Leyland Palmer. Wow, right near the playground where you spend most of your days? Excellent. You must have like a, a 4K TV out there. I would say this dish is kosher, yes. There's nothing... No pork in this dish, nothing like that. Okay, we're going to drain this out. You can do it with a cover on. I've done that before. You just hold the cover and I like to run a little water down to the sink. You want to avoid burning yourself with steam though. That's the only problem. Pretty good way to get rid of pasta water. So tell me if the, wind, if the video goes down at all, okay? That includes Vaughn. If, if there's a Vaughn problem, I want to know. 
Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this right here. What I normally do is spray the, uh, the bottom of the glass with oil. See that? So nothing will stick. And I like to put Parmesan on the pasta as it's going in the bowl. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. Let me do the other, the other way around. That way you layer the, the, the dish with a little Parmesan in there for flavoring. And you got those little pieces of seaweed in there, it's so cute. All right. Now I'm going to get everything out of the bottom, so you're all set. Isn't that cute? All right. That seaweed was a little spicy too, so it should be good. I'm going to put make sure everything gets in there, including any Parmesan on the board here. All right, good. Uh, yeah, well, believe me, I'll be buying a new camera ASAP. I'm not worried about that. It is a little bit blurry, but hey, whatever. You only use 13 kilowatts a day, 100 bucks a month. That's not bad. That's what I pay. You know, I don't need to write a cookbook, Leland. Everything's online and people don't read anymore. So here's to watching. Yeah, if you're not picking up the show, switch to UHF Channel 22. We're broadcast worldwide, reaching over 400 million people right now. That's right. No, I have not been gaining weight. No, it's just the, the camera makes me look a little heavier. I'm still my, my same 48 coat size and my 40 waist. So I'm pretty big and bulky in the, in the upper torso. I'm kind of like a bodybuilder that way. Yeah. I don't get lies told to me. I, I interrupt them. I get a 40 waist. I, I would go 38, but I'm not quite there yet. You solar powered night vision? Wow, aren't you the uh, conscious one? Yeah, I have a zero carbon footprint, so when that young girl was saying, how dare you? I was like, uh, hey lady, I've done everything I can to help your world, okay? You're sending a picture in a show where I have to actually open it? That was me stuck on the screen, yeah. I don't have a, a breast size. I have very big, round, uh, and or I should say sculpted uh, upper body torso, yes. You're talking about my... Yes, okay. Turn everything off now. Take the dish and pour it on top. I know you're, what you're saying. You're saying, Dave, that's not going to fit. How much do you want to bet? Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Unbelievable. Pasta by the sea. Take the fork and kind of wiggle it in there. Like this. Breaking up the oysters as you go. Okay? Now when you serve it, you want to serve from the bottom up. Yes. Get some water in there. All right. Pressing in, kind of stirring as you go. Try not to to, to lose that and of course get a bigger bowl and you won't have to have to worry about this size thing but I make these bowls to feed seven people so we are going to let this set and the best part about this dish is it is a fusion product it's made with a fusion methodology I've, I've been talking about you can top it off with any number of things but we're going to go with the Parmesan. 
Now what I like to do with this kind of a dish, if I have the product in front of me, I purchased organic butter from uh, Safeway, the O brand. And I'm going to put three pats of butter on top of there and let it melt right in. All right. And I use sweet unsalted butter, but you can, you know, you can experiment with any butter you want. All right, that's it. It'll melt right into the dish and the butter will, you know, pick up the flavor and it'll all fuse together. Hey, I hope you enjoyed my cooking show. Thank you for watching Pasta by the Sea. Yeah, this is uh, what we do and we do it quickly. I'm going to go into the other show and start the regular show. See you later, everybody.